Hello students, how are you all? Hope all of you are fine. Today, in this class, we are going to read a new chapter named the world of business. Okay, so this chapter is also containing three sections, three chapters, three small chapters are there in this unit. And your first chapter is how to write a winning resume. But before I tell me, what do you mean by resume? <coughs> it contains your complete biodata, just your qualification, your experience about yourself, everything is neatly mentioned in a resume. And what is the use of resume? Whenever you are going to seek a job or you are going to attend a job interview, at that time you have to produce your resume first because they are not going to ask you string of question. First of all, they will look at your resume, then they can understand your calibrity, your educational qualification, your experience, everything can be reflected in a resume. Okay? So, your first chapter is how to write it down. But what do you mean by winning resume? Means a resume that can offer you, the, you a job. Okay? Means by seeing that one, a person can be impressed. That type of resume is mentioned here. So, now let us see. The main purpose of a resume is to convince an employer to grant you an interview. This is correct. What is the main purpose of a resume? It is that you have to convince an employer that they will give you a chance for the interview. There are two kinds. So, resumes can be written in two ways. First one is familiar tombstone method. Tombstone method means what? That old method where you have to write on your high school, your graduation, then your post graduation etc. etc. Everything should be written in a chronological order. Another one is a functional. But functionally, so two types of resumes are there. One one, first one is tombstone, second one is functional. But nowadays, functional is more appropriate in comparison to tombstone method. So now let us see. One is the family tombstone that lists where you went to school and where you have worked in chronological order. So, everything is written step by step means one after another according to date, according to year everything should be written. The other is what I call the functional resume, descriptive, fun to read, unique to you and much more likely to lend you an interview and another one is functional that is <coughs> quite lively means the person while reading he can pictureize you means he can pictureize your calibrities, your qualities. It is handy to have a tombstone for certain occasion, but still it is good for some occasion, for some special purpose, tombstone method is good. But prospective employees throw away most of the unrequested tombstone list, preferring to interview the quick rather than the dead. But here in present generation, tombstone is regarded as the dead one, but functional is known as the quick one. Understood it? So here. In this chapter, two types of resume is being mentioned. One is your tombstone method, another one is your functional one. Tombstone means everything you have to write down, your graduate, your plus 10th board examination, then intermediate, graduation, post graduation, NPL, then PST, etc, 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 whatever you have read, according to year you have to mention. But functional, there is no need to mention everything, just simply write down your last qualification, that's all, then write down your own experience, your means uh, you are good at what, your hobbies, etc, etc, you have to write it down, okay. And functional is more convenient to read and it can easily give you an interview. And, and here tombstone is known as the dead one, but this one is the active one. What follows are tips on writing a functional resume that will get read, a resume that makes you come alive and look interesting to the employee. So, the thing is that how to write it down. So, some points are there. Let us discuss. Put yourself first. So, first point is put yourself first. So, what you have to do? You have to focus on yourself. In the beginning, you need to write down on yourself. Yourself means what? Your name, your father's name. No, not like that. First, what you are good at. Okay, means your central focus should be there. In order to write a resume, others will read with enthusiasm. You have to feel important about yourself. But first of all, what is the most important thing? Whenever you are going to write on a resume, you have to feel that you are the important person. Okay? Sell what you can do, not who are you. 
and write down what you can do you have to focus on your ability not who are you, you there is no need to mention your family background your father's background etc etc that is not important here important is what you can do practice translating your personality traits character accomplishment and achievement into skill area so you have to find out the skill area means you are good at arranging meetings okay group discussion means these are some skill management skill leadership quality these are the skills that you have to arrange it by yourself there are at least 5000 skill areas in the world of work so how many skill areas are there 5000 skill areas are there and you have to find out four five for yourself it means you should not search on it you have to think suppose you can say you can say that i can't take the leadership but in your school you were the monitor it means what you have the leadership quality but the thing is that you are unable to realize it understood so that one you have to find out and you have to focus it toot your own horn second one is toot your own horn what does it mean many people clutch when asked to think about their abilities some think they have none at all but everyone does and one of yours may just be the ticket an employer would be glad to punch if only you saw it some people in our society they do think that they are not having any caliber t but no that is wrong everyone is having a special caliber t thing is that you have to find out and you have to focus on that so that the employer they will be happy while reading your resume and they can provide you the job or they can call you for the interview be specific be concrete and be brief and third one is be specific be concrete be brief means in brief in short you have to explain yourself you have to present yourself doesn't mean that you will write on 10 pages of resume maximum write down three pages it's okay okay two pages good three pages also okay but write on yourself in short try to means use some good words that the person who is reading it will be interest means uh, on his part it, it must be quite interesting to read your resume turn bad news into good second one is next one is turn bad news into good suppose you have some bad news bad news for example what suppose you are unemployed for last two years that is a demerit but you should not feel sorry for that one you have to find out the good good quality in the bad one everybody has had disappointments in work if you have mentioned yours look for the positive side so you are sometimes you are whenever you want to change your company you want to change your job it means what you are not satisfied with the previous one okay that's why you are going to change but here don't focus on the negative side try to find out the positive side why did you leave that one okay means why you want to join another, another one for new experience work experience with a huge number of people okay all this thing you have to mention never apologize next one is you should not ask for apology okay if you are returning to the workforce after 15 years as a parent simply write a short paragraph summary of background in place of chronology of experience don't apologize for working at being a mother it's the hardest of a fall if you have no special training or higher education just don't mention education that is also correct if you don't have any higher education don't mention that one suppose you must have seen that ladies after they get married when they are having the kids they are just taking short time retirement from their job means for one year two years some for five years means unless and until the baby goes to school they are unable to join in their job so that is a drawback in your career but still don't take that one as a drawback because being a mother is the toughest work in the world understood that one is also the positive side so if you have taken a break in between your work don't mention it no one is asking you simply speak something else something else means what whatever you were doing speak that one and if you don't have any higher education don't mention the education how to psych yourself up next one is how 
how to psych yourself off the secret is to think about the self before you start writing about yourself but the most important thing is that before you start writing a resume you have to think on yourself what is the ability that you have and what can you do take four or five hours off not necessarily consecutive and simply write down every accomplishment in your life honor of the job and take four to five hours off then write down it not necessarily that continuously will take four to five hours take one or two days or three or four days focus on your writing think what you can do then start doing a rough copy of it that made you feel effective and focus on the job that you want to do that can make you effective don't worry at first about what it all means study the list and try to spot pattern don't think that how will write it down etc etc just study and focus on it as you study your list you will come closer to the meaning but when you study means first of all you have to make the list leadership quality uh, means uh, speciality in playing chess okay all these things whatever it is just write it down your abilities then focus on it <coughs> identify your remarkable skill then study the list and try to spot the pattern as you study your list you will come closer to the meaning so when you read the list you will come closer to the meaning you can easily find out what is the real meaning of it and once you discover pattern give names to your cluster of accomplishment so once you find out the pattern give the name of your cluster means group of your achievement okay what you can do suppose you have two three qualities then write down give a suitable title for that one try to list at least three accomplishment under same skill heading so at least three skills are there for that one write down a caption provide a title for that one now start writing your resume as you you might it it may take four drafts or more and several weeks before you are ready to show it to a stranger so at the meantime what is mentioned it may take you a week or two days a week or two weeks or some days also before you show it to a stranger okay don't show it to your friend because friends are quite mean shy to give negative comments but if you show it to a stranger suddenly they will find out what is the mistake in your resume friends usually are usually two kind that is correct friends are normally kind to you they will not show you negative side they will think ah oh, this boy has spent 2 3 weeks how can i speak that this is wrong everything no no it's okay okay they will speak it can be manageable but no that is not manageable they have to find out the fault in the resume for a reaction when you are satisfied send it to a printer so you just show it to a stranger to a person whom you know but not closely known that person will definitely find out the mistake and when it's completely ready make it means a fair copy okay then send it for a printing send it to a printer a printed resume is far superior to photocopies because a printed resume is quite superior than photocopies if you are having a printed copy that is quite good because everyone's handwriting is not good some some people's handwriting is good some people's handwriting is too good that you can't read understood na like that so make a printed copy of it it shows an employee that you regard job hunting as serious work but if you are writing down by your hand with bad handwriting the person who will read your resume will think that this person is not really serious about the job but if you are sending a neat and clean printed well designed resume then the person will think that ha this person is quite serious on searching a job worth doing right is it that the kind of person you would want looking for you so then your resume will be what the one and it will send means it will reach to the right person who you are searching to work with and the person also will find out the right person whom he or she does want to work with understood so this is all about how to write on a winning resume so these are the points 1 2 3 4 5 6 these points you have to focus before writing down the resume and here it is resume is of two types one is tombstone method and another one is functional method tombstone is the old method that people are doing the box like this okay box like this then they are doing then this is class then year okay this is 10th plus 2 etc etc then percentage of marks then full marks likewise 
a box is being mentioned and there educational qualification is mentioned that one is tombstone method but functional is the live one it is quite attractive and it will lend you to the interview okay try to re and read it read the chapter okay and if you have any doubt you can ask me okay thank you have a nice time